Hey Lake Placid High School, today is November 5th, 2019. I'm Macy and this is DNN. Thank you for tuning in to DNN with Macy Williams, Kylie Bear, Trevor Kesterson on weather, and Jennifer Avalar with sports. The Big Red Bus is coming to Lake Placid High School on November 13th and 14th from 8.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. All donors will receive a free fleece blanket and a wellness checkup. If you are 16 years old, you will need parents' permission. The form will be available when you sign up. 17 years old or older do not need parents' permission. Everyone needs some type of identification. Eat well and drink plenty of water the day of the drive. Walk-ins are welcome. To make an appointment, please visit www.oneblood.org slash donate dash now and use the sponsor code 11353 be someone's miracle the highlands career institute is now accepting applications from students interested in the 911 telecommunications certification program that starts january 6 at sfsc students must be 18 years old by may 1st 2020 in order to register for spring semester Students may pick up an application in the guidance office. Applications are due by December 2nd. If you are interested in dual enrollment, registration for the spring semester, which starts in January, is now open. Registration forms are to be picked up and returned to guidance. The deadline is December 6th. Let's head over to Kylie to hear about the Red Ribbon Contest. Red Ribbon is hosting the ninth Animal Red Ribbon Photo Contest aimed at calling attention to the benefits of staying drug-free through the use of photograph. 20 winners will receive an iPad for themselves and $1,000 to be given to the school of their choice. The contest runs through November 1st. Ch uh, children and adults and families across the country are encouraged to participate by uploading their best Red Ribbon theme photo for the website at redribbon.org contest. There will be an SGA meeting on Friday, November 1st in the library. Everyone is welcome to join. SGA is sponsoring a voter registration on November 12th during both lunches and study halls. Any student who is 16 and older with a valid ID may register to vote. SGA has a leadership conference in January. If you are interested, please get the paperwork to Ms. San. This is a great opportunity and can build your college career and resume. Let's head over to Macy for more announcements. Wednesday, November 20th, SGA will host the annual Turkey Scavenger Hunt. This activity is open to any club, class, or sport. You will need four student participants and an approved driver. This is a great service project for our local community who will need assistance with the meals for the holiday season. Please stop by the SGA room for packets. Coaches and sponsors, packets will be placed in your mailboxes. Art Club meets every Wednesday after school at 3.15 p.m. Miss Rich welcomes any students that want to have a good time and be creative. Another reminder that Mr. Whitney is offering tutoring in his room, room 227. He is available during the following times, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays from 7.15 to 8.15 a.m., and as well as Tuesdays and Thursdays from 3.15 to 4.15 p.m. Students that help tutor will receive service hours. Let's take a look at what's cooking with Skowski. What's cooking, Skowski? Welcome, Dragonland. Welcome to What's Cooking. Welcome to What's Cooking, Skowski. And today we're making quick cinnamon rolls. And we're going to start off with the dough. We got all purpose flour, white sugar, baking powder, salt, butter, milk, and egg. We make our own filling. So the filling is white sugar brown sugar, ground cinnamon, um, cream cheese, um, powdered sugar, butter, and vanilla extract. And happy Halloween, ooga booga. <laughs> Mr. Harris here with Word of the Week, back from hiatus. Thank you, Miss Curry, for taking over the reins last week. And here's our word this week. It's Bibble, by special request from Bailey Browning and Matthew Land. Bibble means to eat and or to drink noisily. And I'm sure that you heard your fellow classmates uh, or friends in the lunchroom plowing through a plate of nachos or whatever they call that food anymore. 
uh, very loudly uh, and disruptively. Uh, also, just new to me, uh, the word bibble also means to tipple, which essentially is the same thing. So, weird word of the week with Mr. Harris. Thanks, Bailey. Thank you, Matthew. And you have a great day if you want to. Good afternoon, Lake Placid High School. Welcome back. Hope you guys all had an outstanding week. Go Dragons, way to defeat our rival, the Avon Park Red Devils. Uh, moving on for this week in history, got a good one for you guys. This one's more for the ladies. I have a uh, little information on somebody named Susan B. Anthony that you guys will probably like, hopefully. Susan B. Anthony is a key member of the suffragist movement and uh, the movement towards getting women the right to vote. Uh, in 1872, on this day, November 5th, she was actually arrested for attempting to vote at the polls and it really sparked this movement and eventually led to the 19th Amendment giving women the right to vote in 1920. So it took a while, but she got it done. That's all I have for this week in history and I hope you guys all have an outstanding week. As always, remember to maintain integrity. What's up, Lake Placid Dragons? I'm Weatherman Trevor, and this is DNN Weather. Uh, as you can see for today, we're getting a little bit of rain. Of course, it's always like that. Uh, a little bit in Jacksonville, Orlando, Tampa, and uh, Charleston. Uh, we're getting a little bit more rain tonight in Dallas, Tusla, Corpus Christi, I think. Uh, yeah. Uh, and for the five-day forecast by uh, Fox News, <laughs> which we always use for the weather needs. <laughs> uh, for Tuesday, we got 85. Uh, basically, it's going to be 80s through the rest of the week, except for the weekend, it's going to be 70. So, going to be flip-flops and shorts like usual. <laughs> uh, 50, percent, 50 percent chance of clouds on Friday uh, with lows of 70s and low 60s on the weekends. Be really good. Oh, cool. And of course, with Florida weather, we don't know if we're going to be in pants or flip flops and a bathing suit. Uh, and then, of course, when the National Weather Service says we got a hurricane, we just chilling. We don't really care. People who visit Florida, they say it's really hot. We know it's hot. We just deal with it. Uh, back to y'all in the studio. Oh, you want some sports action? You got it. We're having a ball here. Hey, uh, hello out there, Dragon Nation. As our fall sports are wrapping up, we have uh, Carlin Bobo heading to Appalachie Regional Park in Tallahassee this Saturday to compete in the Florida Cross Country State Championships. She takes off at 9.35 a.m. Best of luck to her. That's amazing. Uh, be proud of her. Uh, wish her good luck. The swim team is heading to state competition at Sailfish Splash Water Park and Aquatic Center. There's a mouthful. Hey, uh, that's in Stewart this weekend as well. And we know they will, be, uh, they will make a, a Dragon Nation proud. Hey, last Friday, our football team destroyed Avon Park. Those Red Devils didn't even know what hit them. Uh, that, that wraps uh, up their regular season. And uh, now they are heading into playoffs this coming Friday uh, here at home against Cluiston. So come on out for that. Make sure you cross off any plans you had for Friday night because you need to be out there and help pack Roger Scarborough Stadium. Good luck, boys. Hey, winter sports are rolling in. Uh, boys soccer has a preseason game against Avon Park away on Thursday. And that matchup begins at 7 o'clock. Uh, let's make sure that uh, this is another Red Devil team that we take down. Girls weightlifters are getting into shape and will be ready for their first meet on Monday here at home against Hardy Wildcats. Hey, they be, uh, they'll be starting at 5.30 p.m. and we'll show those Hardy girls how to really lift. As our winter sports are cranking up, make sure you get out there and support your fellow Dragons. This is Mr. Morgan reminding you about the turkey scavenger hunt. You know, I won that back in 2012 with FBLA. So make sure you guys get out there and get one of these fancy trophies. Uh, stay classy, Lake Placid High. And uh, until next time, you make it a great week. This is DNN, signing out. <laughs>